Hello, this is my 1985 Citroën 2CV. It's a 2CV6 club and uh, for that reason we get square or rectangular headlights which difference it to the other ones like the Charleston or the Spatial. It's a pretty nice uh, restoration. Uh, I mean, it looks brand new. Uh, I really like it. There are some defects of, of, uh, that you can see a little bit. Right here, for example, uh, if you can see, you can see that the paint didn't really attach properly to it. Otherwise, it's a very, very good shape. The 2CV6 club, this color is uh, Rouge Valley Lunga. The top should be red as well. Uh, but that was changed, which is okay. And here we have the designation to CV6 Club. So, I, when I first saw this car was, I don't know, probably a year and a half ago or something like that, I was not really in the market. But I was always kind of interested to own one uh, because well, it's very French, and I am French. I live in the U.S., but this is uh, definitely a French car. So this car is one of the few cars that can be recognized by its three letters designation, 2CV. It's like a GT3 or a Z06. Very simple and uh, very clever in its design. Uh, I, when I first got it, I couldn't get the paperwork for another week or two. So I spent quite some time looking at it in details. I went around my block driving in the in the winter. It was kind of cold, but I just decided to still. I needed to drive it, so I went around the block, and then I started to uh, notice some a couple of things that needed to be addressed. Here, for example, uh, you can see the these. I could see some grease and then looking at this axle, axle right here there was a little color here that basically cracked this boot and it was throwing a bunch of grease everywhere so I ordered that piece and then I proceeded with changing it and you can see that I used a black zip tie here I didn't have the right color to uh, finish the work, but now I have it. I'm like, well, it's still holding up properly, so why not? So I dismounted the axle and came up with a new a swear world uh, before I was able to actually put this on, but it was not a big deal. I had to take this entire wing out, which uh, it's easy to uh, take out. I mean, the only concern is not to sc scratch around the, the uh, to catch the paint on on these uh, headlights. But I managed. It was feasible. It's not too much of a big deal. And other things that I wanted to do on that car was to. Yeah, I intend to drive this uh, daily, or some some somewhat daily, so I want to have a phone charger which I installed right here but I really didn't want to have to do anything as far as like drinks from the old so I used one of the screws that was holding this part and then tie it up on the other side and it moves a little bit but it's secure for what I want to do and then I installed right here this is my horn because I had to install some French horn in here. This is really, this is ridiculous, but love it. Um, so the inside, I was when I was kind of like looking around for uh, for two CVs, I was definitely looking for this kind of dashboard. So it came on the the two CV uh, clubs and on the Charleston, 
as far as I know. Uh, the 276 Special, which is probably what's uh, more recognizable uh, as the uh, smaller dashboard, but also as the wrong light headlights, like the Charleston. Although the Charleston had painted uh, round headlights when they first came out, it eventually was a uh, chrome color. I personally didn't like the color scheme of the Charlestons, uh, but that's my personal taste. So I think that Rouge Valley Lunga like this is very, there's a hint of orange to it. Or I would say it's really, really bright and I really like it that way. So what I was waiting for that paperwork so I could register it and get my license plates and drive it, insure it and drive it on the road. I kind of uh, inspected the, the underneath, the frame. Um, there was things that were absolutely fantastic with it. Um, I'll show you a little bit. But that part right here, I don't know if you can see it properly, but that mount, which is for the exhaust, is attached to a piece of metal from the the fender or the, or the frame, I think it's from the fender or the case. Um, and it's not rusty at all, so I had kind of like some, some hope that it was well done, a well done restoration. Things that uh, I wanted to, to do was on the inside. Let's go back in here. But I don't know, you know, you never really know, was it really, was it really a special that was modified to look like a club, or was it really a club? I mean, this looks very brand new for a 1995 car, but there's some things that gave me some hints that maybe it wasn't done exactly the way it was supposed to. So, for example, this trap right here. This trap should be connected here. Um, and it probably should be living around here to here so that when you roll the back all the way down, you can reach. But there is no indication to me here that there is a hole somewhere. So they are just hanging, which pretty much reminds me of my youth anyways, when you when I saw some two CVs, they were always hanging anyways. So one thing about the club as well is like there is that little carpet behind the back seats. It's a privacy carpet so that you don't see what's inside the, the boot, let's say. <laughs> or the trunk. Uh, on the inside, it's very nice and clean. Well, the seat probably needs to uh, be redone. Don't really, I'm not crazy about the, the seat covers, but you know, something that can be changed, no big deal. I can see that uh, they still work, but some uh, have been broken down or something. One thing that's cool too, and if you know about the different opening of the roof for those uh, the dosh is right here this is the system to uh, attach the roof when you open the roof from the outside and we can also find it here at the bottom here so technically you could probably have the roof that go all the way down. So I don't know if it was like this originally or they kept putting those pieces here during production. What I wanted to do too was to make sure that if I was installing something to the car, I was not going to make some new holes. So to, to install this frame, I had to make it everyone underneath reuse 
So here, that's the mount for the plate, license plate. And there we use the holes that were already there. So I put a little L-shaped bar for uh, aluminum and tied this one up. I put my license plate. And then on the back of the license plate, there is some little rubber grommet here. So if it vibrates and touch the paint, you shouldn't destroy it too much. This seems to be a little bit, it sticks out a little bit more than what I remember, but I mean, it can be adjusted, it's not a big deal. Uh, these things are very pretty, I mean, it makes a lot of bling. And it looks like there's a lot of bling on this car. Obviously, they catch water, dirt, and create rust. But, you know, it's not a big deal to me. It's not like I'm gonna keep this car for more than 20, 30 years anyways. This part always comes out, doesn't really stay together here. And uh, so I've been trying to put it back as often when I think about it. But what I've noticed is like, basically when you open the door, the rubber part catch on it and unsticks it if you open the door too much. The inside is very clean. Uh, and then, uh, it's a lot of uh, rubber parts, uh, rubber covering here. But it looks super clean. A couple holes here. So I have to figure out if I plug them, what they were for, etc. My car is on and on. Uh, sorry, 30,000 kilometers, a little bit less than that. I don't know if it's 30,000. Uh, I really don't know if it's 30,000. The reason why I don't know is because this looks pretty used up for only 30,000. So maybe it's 100,000, 130,000 kilometers. But it looks like the bottom here was repainted every time you use those pedal you basically touch the cotton the steering cotton uh, yeah that's pretty much it on the inside all right let's uh, open the the hood so there you go that's a 602 cc engine you can see it. maybe it says it right here oops right there so 602 um, it looks pretty pretty nicely they're redone or in good condition um, so far I'm having a blast with it the engine appears to start just fine in the morning when it's cold though I, I've noticed that uh, I'm not very good with the choke yet. I mean, the choke is always different, I guess, in every car. But when it starts and when it's running, it's just fine. Here I have my French and theme uh, holes, air holes. So I put them like this because obviously it would make more sense to put them over there. It would look cleaner. But I don't want to. I don't want to put any new holes. So. I might gather all this uh, system here to tie them up and it works just fine. I can remove it uh, if needed, no big deal. And you won't even know that you was there. And then let both my cables for the horn and for my USB charging go through there. Thing that I've noticed that was awesome. Well, there's the reproduction here of those uh, stands to tell what color it is, so that's a uh, Rouge uh, Valley Longa. Even the K that looks like an X, I've seen that many times before where it looks like an X, but it's a K. Um, so I've seen that on the original car, so that were not repainted, so that was cool. The uh, 
VIN number is also here on the frame and they are matching, so that's pretty cool. When I was first trying to start it, what I've noticed is like, there was some, some uh, I would say gasoline coming down from the side of the carburetor. When I, especially when I was like pumping the gas without really knowing on how to start it properly. I mean, I had not started a, a choke engine since the late 80s, so that's, that's, a, that's a learning curve to come back. In. All right. So also, first thing that I did while I was waiting for uh, the paperwork was to well, check the disc brakes. That's something I wanted to have too. I wanted to have the inboard disc brakes instead of uh, uh, the other ones. So that's kind of, that was like a later model to, uh, to have that. But I did change the oil right away and the gearbox oil as well. Uh, what's interesting is the oil filter we can barely see here on the bottom anyways. Can't really access it, access it, access it, it from underneath because it's big. Um, drip pan here and that so if I want to access it from here I want to just scan so I have to remove the side uh, wing which is okay what I was underneath I kind of like took a peek I don't know if we're gonna be able to see from here but it looks like there is um, an electric uh, electronic uh, ignition system so that was a plus a little bit of dirt because yes i've been driving this car and then here we have like pieces of the protection that's supposed to not make scratches anywhere not falling off anyways something to reattach no big deal and so yesterday I went for a very long drive and today I was driving the car and then I noticed there was a little bit of rattling coming up so uh, I'm like oh man there you go I gotta fix it but no it was just coming from here so I was hearing that driving slowly so I'll have to address that oh yeah that's it this is my 1985 C20 2CV.